Hey everybody, this is David, and today I'm going to be reviewing episode 2 of Gotham, titled Selina Kyle. So if you haven't guessed already, this episode is supposed to be about Selina Kyle. Um, really, it, it did focus on her quite a bit, but I wouldn't say it was just about her. It did focus on everybody here and there, even on the Penguin. The Penguin, I think, got the best uh, development from this episode and and I, I thought to myself even at one point like we're going to eventually I think the penguin is going to be like the first established Batman villain before Batman even exists and it's true when you see him in this episode you'll see him like he's quickly growing into becoming the first criminal mastermind I think uh, that or super mastermind whatever you want to call those type of villains the creature villains i guess um characters that will bring gotham to the next level basically uh escalation i guess and uh it, it's a lot of fun seeing the penguin's storyline so far I, i've been enjoying i enjoyed his storyline in the first episode and i enjoyed him again in this episode this episode his storyline is probably my favorite in this episode um, I like the Gordon and Harvey Bullock scenes. I think when they're together, they have they still have great interactions together, uh, and great moments together. Um, especially Harvey Bullock. Harvey Bullock is is great, and I love uh, Donald Logue as as um, as Bullock. I think he's doing a terrific job. I think Ben McKenzie is also doing a great job as Gordon. Alfred and Bruce, um, we're seeing Bruce, like, harm himself a little bit, like, he was burning his hand on fire, I'm not sure if he was really trying, I don't remember if he was trying to, uh, do that on purpose, like, suicidal, I don't think it was suicidal, but, uh, Alfred made it seem like it was, that was the reason, um, speaking of Alfred, I think he's kind of, um, a douchebag. Uh, I'm not. I'm not digging this character of uh, this version of Alfred. Uh, the Alfred from the Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher uh, films has has been more of a a kind and gentle Alfred. Well, the the Michael Caine version, I I think I like the best, where he was the kind and gentle version also, but he was also he also had that toughness to him. This one tries to be too tough which comes off across a bit as a dick in my opinion and uh so far especially in this episode i noticed it in the last one too but in this one it, it feels like i i don't know how bruce can like have a really a good relationship with this guy if he's going to be a you know a douchebag that he is and i mean bruce kind of calls him out and and says that he's oh don't worry about alfred he's he he's just a worry wart or something like that and i mean yeah you can look at it that way but he doesn't have to go about it in the manner that he is now i did like the part where he did apologize afterwards i guess that kind of redeemed him in some fashion but um, I, I hope he starts to tone down on the toughness. I, I don't think Alfred needs to be that tough on Bruce. Because, yeah, like I said, it, it's not making him likable, in my opinion. It's making him come across as a dick. Edward Nigma was in this episode again. Just a small one scene. Um, kind of just there. Not much. He's not doing much yet. So, uh, I'm still waiting for something to happen with that guy. Um, Carmen Falcone, it seems like he's, like, running the whole city. Uh, we got a little bit of information about the Waynes that they were planning on opening back Arkham. Apparently Arkham was closed and the Waynes were gonna reopen it. Um, Falcone made some interesting things that the Falcones, him... And the Waynes were kind of like the balance in Gotham. And uh, I, I hope we get more details on that. I think that was some interesting information that I would like to hear more about. So, at the end of the day, what did I think of this episode? I thought it was 
it wasn't as good as last week's episode. Um, it, was, it was still a good episode. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. Last week's episode, the pilot, I gave a 8 out of 10. Um, I didn't think... Maybe it's because last week I, I didn't know what to expect. I wasn't expecting much from the pilot. That uh, Maybe that's why it fulfilled my needs, I guess, uh, in, in some sense. Um, but I guess this episode, because I was surprised by the pilot, um, this kind of didn't really give me much, except for the Penguin storyline. I thought that was the, the more interesting, um, aspect that came out of this episode. Uh, the more fun, the more fun stuff, for sure. And, uh, I can't wait for next week. Next week looks really good. It looks like it's gonna be heavily focused on the Penguin, which, at this point, is good for me, because... Like I said, his storyline so far has been the most interesting. So I can't wait to see what happens next week, guys. Um, will I review another episode? Maybe. Uh, the Flash and Arrow, I believe, also start next week. So I'll probably be even reviewing those two shows. So maybe there's going to be three shows based off DC Comics that I'm going to be reviewing. And uh, I can't wait. So until next week, be there.